question. Who here is feeling savage? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just one quick question. Who here absolutely hates doing the Mexican wave? I want a show of hands starting over here and moving our way across. See, it wasn't that bad. Magici Magicians are doing so well on the show this year, so I've decided to do some magic of my own. Oh, wait, um, David. Um, here I have an envelope. Okay. Could you just please look after this? Don't let anybody see it and protect it. Of course. With all your heart. Thank you. <laughs> so, for my first trick, I'm going to make the judges' smiles disappear. <laughs> oh, wait. I already did that by getting through to the final. <laughs> Down. After my last performance, I decided to give you guys a break. Hooray! Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's long enough. <laughs> I just want to thank Ant and Deck for all the money that they spent voting for me to get through. <laughs> the length some people go to just to make themselves look taller. <laughs> clowns last night. I haven't seen wacky costumes and terrifying makeup like that since Sharon Osbourne was a judge. <laughs> you gotta love shows like Britain's Got Talent and X Factor. Where else you get to see that tedious singing robot? Gary Barlow. <laughs> Disco and sat by the dance floor was a girl that I really liked. So I plucked up the courage to ask her if she wanted to dance. And she did! Which was lucky for me, because otherwise I wouldn't have a place to sit. <laughs> One Direction have gone their separate ways. That's ironic. <laughs> now, For those of you who don't know what ironic means, Simon, <laughs> it's like these guys judging a talent competition. <laughs> um, and just before I go, I'd like to remind you to vote Ned. I'd love to have a chance to perform in front of royalty. But if I did, I know it wouldn't be Prince Philip. That dude has got some savage material. <laughs> but he's retired from his royal duties. So who's going to travel the world offending people now? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, and the envelope. Uh, David, yes. do me a solid and post that to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> It, it's just a letter of apology for what I might say if I win. For a thousand years I love you 
for a thousand more Waiting for you Darling, don't be afraid I have loved you for a thousand years I love you for a thousand this performance to my younger brother Dexter. He's only four, but he's my best friend in the whole world. Tonight I'd like to show you a different kind of magic. Magic using sight of hand. But remember, my hands are only small, but I promise I'll try my best. Most people my age have a diary. I do too, but mine is a little different because mine is on this deck of playing cards. Let me explain. I've written a word or name on the back of each card that reminds me of a special thing or person that I either like or love. William is my favourite BGT judge. Oh, thank you. Snow, that's what I love playing with my brother Dexter. It's the most magical thing in the world. In fact, my brother's sitting over there in the audience tonight. friend in the whole wide world and also the name of my grandpa's dog. Ginny, that's Ginny Weasley, my favourite character from Harry Potter. You get the idea. <laughs> Normally a magician would say, Alicia, pick a card, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Instead, Simon! I would like you to just think of a card, any card. Lock it into your mind and don't tell anyone. Got one? Got it. Simon, would you be impressed if I could reach inside your mind and name your card? Uh, very. Look into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I name your card Simon. That's your name. For the first time, Simon, what's the card you are thinking of? Seven of Diamonds. Remember, each card is a different word or name written on the back of every card. But here's yours, the Seven of Diamonds. And there's no way I could possibly know what card you've thought of. No. Watch. say it's polite to say thank you. So thank you for this amazing opportunity. From Magic Boxes, you couldn't live to me reading all your minds. It's all been such fun. In fact, it has all been magic. Wow. It's proof that no matter how young or old you are, if you work hard and believe, you can take anything, even these pieces of paper, and make truly magical things happen. Watch.
So, for my final performance this evening, I wanted to make a really big entrance. My beautiful, wonderful assistant, Declan! <laughs> Declan, no, stay there, stay there, Declan! Listen, you have a very important job. I need you to take this box and these pieces of paper and this pen, <laughs> and I want you to run over there and get everybody in the audience to write down names of famous people and put them in the box. Cheers, babe. OK. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't call him babe. It's my pet name for Ant. Anyway, so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the last time I was here, during my semi-final performance, the judges said I didn't really have enough time and that they wanted to see more. Would you like to see more? <laughs> rip, nip, nip, rip, nip, rip, nip. Would you like to see more? <laughs> well, they only give you a couple of minutes, so I'm going to have to do this really quickly. So, ladies and gentlemen, come here, come here, and then end up with David Williams' pants inside my pocket. Are you ready? <laughs> then please watch carefully because this, ladies and gentlemen, is called finger manipulation. It goes like this. <laughs> Oh, wait for another one. Can't do that one. <laughs> now what's he doing? <laughs> and now his fingers in his ear. <laughs> oh, well, now what's he doing with his eye? This one looks disgusting. It's out of his head. And the other one as well. Switch them around. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. Where's everybody gone? Don't worry, I'll fix it. <laughs> and that's the end of that. Thanks. So. <laughs> But during that misdirection, I would like to say, ladies and gentlemen, I now have David's pants inside my pocket. Oh, they're nice ones. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Listen, David, because I've taken your pants, it's only fair that I show you a quick trick. Declan! Quick, run over to David, and David, what I want you to do is take a piece of paper out of the box. Inside that box, you will see the name of a celebrity. Just have a look at it, remember who that celebrity is, and don't tell anybody. Do you understand, Dave? Yes, I do. Thanks, I love you too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to attempt to read David's mind, and then I'm going to paint you a picture of your celebrity on this easel, but using something very bizarre. Ladies and gentlemen, David, check this out. David, that you are thinking of? Ant and Deck. 
Ant and Deck. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a very terrible picture, but nonetheless a picture of the very beautiful 